The allure of royal weddings has always captivated the public's attention, sparking discussions about various elements like wedding dresses, rings, and crowns. However, the marriage between a European prince and an African girl generated a buzz that left people both thrilled and amazed. Despite the prince's noble background, he chose Angela, a dark-skinned African woman 11 years older than him, as his bride, defying societal norms. What makes Angela so charming that the prince falls in love with her? How did she conquer the entire royal family? What does their son look like today? But before we get started, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the O Channel family. Let's dive in. Meghan Markle, an American actress with African heritage, married Prince Harry, and it felt like a real life fairy tale, just like Cinderella. This story showed that any ordinary girl, regardless of her background, can become a princess. There was a similar example in European history when Prince Maximilian of Liechtenstein married a girl of African descent in 2000. They faced many challenges to be together because society wasn't ready for such unions back then. Traditionally, princes were expected to marry girls from noble families. However, the Liechtenstein royal family proved that the world is changing and it's time to let go of old prejudices in the new century. Angela Gisela Brown was born in Panama in 1958 into a regular family. Her father worked as a businessman and her mother was a housewife. When she was five years old, they moved to New York City. Angela completed her elementary and high school education there before enrolling at Parsons School of Design. Surprisingly, Angela had an exceptional sense of style and good manners that resembled those of royalty. During her studies, she achieved great success by winning the prestigious Oscar de la Renta Gold Thimble Award. Angela was a talented and hardworking individual. She never imagined that one day she would become a princess. Angela aspired to achieve success independently without relying on anyone's assistance. After graduating, she partnered with a Hong Kong firm to establish her own fashion label called A. Brown. She also worked as a fashion director at Adrienne Vitadini's clothing company. Angela's life took a complete turn when, at the age of 39, she met Prince Maximilian of Liechtenstein at a party in New York. This goes to show that you can meet a prince at any age, even though he was 11 years younger than her. Their significant age difference was frowned upon by society at the time. By the way, if you didn't know, Liechtenstein is a small country located between Austria and Switzerland in the Alps. It is the sixth smallest nation globally, with a population of only 38,000. Despite its size, Liechtenstein boasts one of the highest standards of living. The Prince of Liechtenstein is one of the richest monarchs in the world, with a fortune of approximately $3.5 billion. The combined wealth of the members of the House of Liechtenstein reportedly surpasses the wealth of the British royal family. Being born into such a wealthy family is a significant privilege. Prince Maximilian, however, never intended to become the ruler after his father. As the second son, he could lead a normal and quiet life. Maximilian completed his education at the European Business School and has been involved in business throughout his life. He has little interest in royal duties and ceremonies. Maximilian prefers to maintain a low profile and keep his personal life private. When he met Angela Brown, he was captivated by her exceptional taste and style. Before proposing to her, he sought the approval of his father, Prince Hans Adam Ihi. The prince's choice surprised many people in Liechtenstein. Some believed that the monarchy in the country was nearing its end and considered it the end of an era. However, there were also more progressive individuals who were not concerned about the bride's age or background. It's difficult to imagine the challenges the couple faced as they went against public opinion, being the first interracial marriage in European royal history. Prince Maximilian and Angela Brown triumphed over prejudice and got married in New York City in January 2000. About 500 guests attended the wedding, including their family members. Angela wore a beautiful dress of her own design, featuring long sleeves and minimal jewelry. She also wore a royal tiara. Interestingly, 
Meghan Markle's wedding attire resembled Angela Brown's dress, perhaps drawing inspiration from that ceremony. After the wedding, Angela became a princess of Liechtenstein and Countess of Rietberg. They welcomed their son, Alfonso, a year later and have since lived happily as a family. They frequently visit Liechtenstein, Panama, the UK, and the USA, but prefer to keep a low profile, avoiding the press and royal social events. The only notable event they attended together was Countess Elizabeth's wedding in Belgium in 2006. In 2015, Princess Angela gave her only interview discussing tourism in Panama. Otherwise, the couple refuses to engage with the media and tries to shield their son from journalists, although some pictures of the boy have surfaced on the internet. Alfonso is now 21 years old and holds the sixth position in the line of succession to the royal throne of Liechtenstein. However, it's unlikely that he will ascend to the throne, so he lives a regular life like any other person his age. Prince Maximilian and Princess Angela have been happily married for 23 years, proving that the strongest couples are those who marry for love, regardless of their age difference or backgrounds. Their story shows that love should be the guiding force in the modern world, surpassing social status. Moreover, old dynasties are adapting to the globalized world of today, and traditional customs are gradually becoming obsolete. What are your thoughts on these trends? Do you agree, or do you believe that the monarchy should maintain a more conservative approach? Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.